Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today, as you guys can see from the title, it is going to be a, a master bedroom declutter and organization. So I've been putting this in the back burner for a while just because honestly, I've just been super lazy the past like week or so. I have not been motivated to get anything done. My YouTube channel I've been putting on the back burner. I haven't been filming and uploading as much as I usually do. So I definitely want to hurry up and get this done. It is actually already four o'clock. It is Sunday and I am on my second cup of um, iced coffee. So I have a lot of energy. So I figured why not go ahead and get this done since I have so much energy right now. I did to my drawers yesterday. I just refolded everything that was in there because it was really stuffed and I couldn't even close it. So I did refold everything in my drawers yesterday. I'm going to include that footage. I think it was only like 20 or 25 minutes worth of footage. And now I'm going to do my closet, you guys. It is a huge disaster in there. I need to pull all my clothes out that is hung up. I need to rehang them. Pretty sure I won't get rid of anything because this year I've gotten rid of a lot of things multiple times that I've cleared out my closet. So I'm pretty sure I won't be getting rid of anything, but I just want to go ahead and organize it. I like to have all of like my winter stuff in one corner and all my summer and spring stuff in another. And right now it's just all mixed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all that out. Also refold all of my, um, then I'm also going to refold all of my workout clothes. I have it on a shelf and that is all thrown kind of like in a pile. So I wanna refold that as well. And then I think there's only like two or three things on my vanity that I just threw up there. So take that off my vanity and clear off my vanity as well. I probably won't vacuum inside my closet today just cause I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have time. I have to get the kids dinner ready. So maybe I will do that tomorrow and include that footage as well. But this is just going to be a declutter and organization. So I hope you guys find some motivation from today's video. And let's just go ahead and jump right in to this declutter and organization. All right, you guys, so this was on day one that I started filming this video, and I just wanted to go through all of my drawers just because, as you guys can see, I couldn't even completely close it because it was so stuffed of a bunch of clothing. This is usually the drawer I keep all of my pajamas in, so I just wanted to go ahead and go through it. I did get rid of a few things, not a lot, just because I have been going through my clothes a lot this year and getting rid of a lot of things and donating it. So I didn't get rid of much, but I did get rid of a few things, and then there were a few things in this drawer as well that usually I like to hang up in the closet. There are shirts that sometimes I wear for like just daily errands and sometimes as pajamas. And then some clothes, I don't know how it ended up in this drawer with my pajamas that were just regular clothing. So I tossed to the corner so I can go ahead and hang it up in the closet. But I'm just gonna go ahead and fold everything nice and neatly and then place it back into the drawers. And then for my husband's, I did go through his drawers as well and I just refolded everything of his. I didn't get rid of anything just because because I don't know what he wants to keep and what he wants to get rid of, but I did refold some of his clothing as well. And then the rest of the drawers that I did not go through, it is because it is our like underwear drawer, our socks, stuff like that. So I didn't go through the other ones. I just went through the drawers that had all of the clothing and like shorts. So I'm gonna go ahead and refold everything and then I will move on to my closet, which is going to be on a different day. Searching for your praise, but is it even there? 
And now this is the following day. I decided to go ahead and start doing my closet. As you guys can see, it is a complete disaster. My closet gets really messy really quickly. So I want to go ahead and take all my clothing out of the closet. I did get rid of, I think, only three items. Like I said, I have been getting rid of a lot of clothes. So I really didn't need to get rid of anything. But there were a few items that I did go ahead and get rid of. But I pretty much did this just to reorganize everything. Like I said, I like to keep all my spring and summer clothes in one corner and then keep all my winter clothes in another corner. I know a lot of people will pull out their clothing for each season and put it in a different closet, but I just don't have that much space in my house to do that. So I usually keep all my clothing for year round in the same closet, but I just like to have it in their special corner. So I'm going to go ahead and reorganize everything. And then you're going to see on a different day, which is a third day, I'm going to go ahead and do all my shoes, my purses, and also vacuum up the closet. So I hope you guys are finding a lot of motivation from this video. It did end up being a three day type of thing, but that's what happens when you have kids and you just don't have time to get everything done in one day you have to split things up but i'm so glad that i was able to get this done so let's go ahead and just enjoy watching me reorganize all of my clothing So here you're going to see me refolding all of my workout clothes and at the last minute I decided to go ahead and hang up all of my shirts just because I didn't like how it looked when I folded everything and put it on the shelf. I felt like it just did not look organized although it was all folded it just looked a mess in my opinion so I did go ahead and keep all of my workout leggings folded on the shelf and then I ended up going ahead and hanging up all of my workout tops I definitely want to buy some new workout clothes although I feel like I've been buying a lot of workout clothes past few months before all this quarantine stuff happened I just feel like I always gravitate towards the same workout clothing just because they're the most comfortable for me so I definitely want to maybe order some workout clothing online since I do work out so much and I pretty much live in workout clothing even when I don't work out I like to wear it to also clean the house so if you guys have any suggestions on where I can order some really good quality workout clothing let me know in the comments I really love um going to like TJ Maxx and Marshalls for it but obviously I can't go in store right now and then I also have recently fallen in love with all of the pink workout um Victoria's Secret leggings I have like three pairs and they're probably one of my favorites but also I can't go to the mall so let me know where I can order some affordable, really cute workout clothes.
do my husband's side of the closet. I don't feel like his side of the closet was as bad as mine just because I have more clothes than him. But I did go ahead and straighten up a lot of his workout pants. I feel like they were falling off the hanger and they just looked really unorganized. So I just went ahead and straightened up a few pair of his pants. <laughs> And here is where I decide to go ahead and just hang up all of my workout tops. Definitely need to go out and buy some more velvet hangers. I did have to go ahead and use the plastic hangers, which I'm really glad I didn't get rid of just because I have like a garbage bag full of these hangers. I was going to get rid of, but decided to keep them. And I'm glad I did because I was able to hang up all of my workout tops. Repeat, I can wait for you forever. So I'm going to give you a really quick update. I now have to go get the kids some food. So I'm going to finish up tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to pull out all the shoes and try to organize my shoe shelf because it's falling apart. I need to get a better shoe shelf. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below because the one I have from Amazon, it sucks. It's always falling apart. So I just need to go ahead and put it back together because I think two of the bars are like broken off. So I need to fix that and then put the shoes back on the shelf. I'm gonna vacuum inside of my closet. And then also I need to do something with my bags. I have a lot of bags and a lot of them are really old and it's just looking cluttered in the corner and taking up a lot of space. So tomorrow I'm gonna go through my bags as well and see what I wanna keep and what I wanna get rid of. But I'm happy with what I got done today, which was organizing my clothing. So I did end up hanging up all my workout tops. At first I did fold them and I had them on the shelf, but I just didn't like how it looked. I felt like it was too cluttered and it was like falling over. So I went ahead and folded them or I unfolded them and hung them up. And then the pants that were hanging up there, I hung up on the bottom shelf. So definitely doesn't look perfect. But as you guys can see, my closet is like really, really messy as in like, the wall needs to be fixed. We need to eventually pull out that vanity. There's a lot of things that need to be done in my closet that just can't be done right now. So I just have to work with what I have. I would love to get like more cubicles and stuff, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon. So like I said, I just have to work with what I have. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. Then I'll pick it up tomorrow with organizing my shoes, um, purses, and then vacuuming the floor. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now. All right, so this is what it's looking like now. Again, my clothes don't look perfect, but my closet is very, very tiny. So I kind of have to like cram everything in. But over here, I have like a lot of my um, spaghetti strap tops and tank tops. And then it goes in to like my short sleeves and then quarter length. And then it goes into long sleeves, sweaters. I also have like my workout sweater tops up here. Maybe I will put them up here with my workout tops. I'm not sure, but these are like my workout um, long sleeve kind of like sweaters. And then I have some dresses and rompers there. And this is where I hung up all of my workout tops just because I didn't like how it looked when it was on the shelf. So right now, all of my workout tops are hanging up here. And then my workout bottoms are all in the corner right there. And then I put my jeans all the way in the bottom in the corner back there. So that's how everything looks right now. And then I did clear off the vanity. And then tomorrow I'm going to do this catastrophe of all the shoes and also um, my purses. And hopefully I can get rid of a few purses. I don't think I'll get rid of any shoes. I've gotten rid of a lot maybe. I'm not sure. But go to my shoes tomorrow right, guys, as well. So it is not the following day. It is actually two days later. But I'm going to go ahead and finally finish up the closet. So... Like I mentioned in the earlier clip, I want to go ahead and reorganize all of my shoes. The shoe rack that I have, like I said, it is falling apart. So I need to go ahead and put it back together and then put my shoes back on. I also want to vacuum the floor and then go through my purses, see if I can get rid of any and then try to reorganize the purses because it is like just crammed in the corner right here. And I feel like it's taking up a lot of the room where I could actually have clothes come down and the clothes won't be so um, squished in and crammed so we'll see how that goes so i'm gonna go ahead and do the shoes and then the purses and then vacuum up and then i think that'll be it for this declutter and organization video so let's jump right in to completing this video 
So this is my last and final day that I will be going ahead and decluttering, organizing my closet. So I am doing all my shoes. I did end up getting rid of three pair of shoes. I probably should get rid of more, but for now that is what I have gotten rid of. So I'm going to go ahead and just go through the shoes and see which ones I want to keep and which ones I decided to go ahead and get rid of. <music> Okay, so this is the pile of shoes that I'm keeping. And then as you guys saw, I just took out three pair of shoes. So I'm getting rid of three pair of shoes and then keeping all of these. Imagine, do you want to say something? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go ahead now and pull all these shoes out, pull out the shoe rack, everything else. So I can go ahead and vacuum in here and then I will go ahead and organize it um, neatly on the shoe rack. Once again, as you guys can see, these are the bars that keep on falling off. So we, like I said, I got it off of Amazon and it's just these metal bars that you connect like that into the holes. But I don't know if my shoes are just too heavy or what, but these fall off really, really easily. So I'm gonna try to do my best to stack them. Um, have all like the heavier boots all the way in the bottom. Cause I think I had the heavier boots on the second or the third rack so since these are the heaviest i'll probably put these in the bottom and then put the lighter shoes um on top so let's go ahead and do that so now that i have figured out what shoes i want to keep and what shoes i want to get rid of although there were only three shoes that i got rid of i'm going to go ahead and pull all the shoes out i'm also going to pull out the rack and pretty much everything from the closet other than my vanity i'm even going to pull my husband's shoe rack out so i can go ahead and vacuum up the closet i did also reorganize my husband's um shoes just because as you guys can see his shoe rack was also falling apart so after i vacuum everything up i'm going to go ahead and reorganize all of our shoes back in the closet <music> And now that I have vacuumed up the entire closet, I'm going to go ahead and just reorganize all of my husband's shoes and go ahead and connect all of the little bars that had fallen off of his shoe rack. Like I said, the shoe rack really sucks. We got it off of Amazon a long time ago. I'm thinking about maybe the only possible way to fix this is to maybe super glue the bars um, so they won't fall out. I'm not sure, but I just went ahead and connected them all back together and then I put his shoes organized on the shelf. So I was trying to figure out what to do with my sandals because there was no more space on this rack, but I decided to just go ahead and squish it in that corner there. I'll probably eventually buy some type of like bin where I can just toss them all in, but for now that'll work. And now I'm moving on to my purses. I'm just going through my purses and seeing which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to go ahead and get rid of. All right, so these are the purses that I'm going to be keeping. And then those three are the ones that I'm going to be getting rid of just because they are stained or 
the leather is fake so it's like peeling off so i'm gonna get rid of those three and then i'm gonna keep this big pile i do want to get some new purses soon hopefully so whenever i do get new purses i'll probably get rid of a few of these but i'm keeping these for now and this is a little hack that i had found on i think pinterest it's, this is a coat rack but i use it to hang up all of my purses but now i need to figure out where i'm going to put this because now i um brought the shoe rack all the way over here to the corner i'm going to bring the clothes down further over here and then yeah i don't know maybe i will try to tuck this over there in the corner but then it's gonna be blocking my jeans unless i bring my jeans over to my husband's side of the closet i'm not sure but we'll see what we're gonna do but like i said that's what i'm keeping and that is what i'm getting rid of and now that i have finished all my purses i'm gonna go ahead and just move my clothing down since i did put my shoe rack all the way in the corner and i moved my purse rack i'm going to just go ahead and try to move all my clothing down so i can have more room to store it i did move my jeans towards the front and then i squished my little purse rack all the way in the back in the corner and i think that'll just work for now i try to put all the purses that i tend to gravitate towards more to wear in the front and then all the purses that i rarely ever use i put in the back all right, you guys, so I am finally done and doesn't look perfect. I don't think my closet will look perfect until my husband fixes this mess and we get rid of this vanity. Until then, it's going to look a hot mess, but it looks much better than before. So what's down there is the mirror that was supposed to attach up here, but my husband never connected it. And anyways, it's like falling apart. So I just keep it under there. Um, but yeah, so what I did was I just moved my jeans to the front over here. And then I hid my little purse rack in the back. And then the purses that I wear the most, I put in the front. And then in the back is where I put the purses that I don't use as often. And then back here, I have some wristlets that I also rarely ever use unless I'm going out for like a girl's night, which never happens. Um, over here in the corner is where all of my workout yoga pants are. And then I showed you guys before, I hung up all of my workout tops up here, have some belts in the corner, and then my clothes are just hanging up here. So I did move everything down. So starting over here, like I mentioned earlier, it's spaghetti straps, tank tops, stuff like that. Then it goes into short sleeves, quarter sleeves, long sleeves, sweater shirts, um, a few sweaters, and then my workout sweater tops and then rompers and dresses. And then all the way in the back, I just have my robe that I never use. So that is what it looks like now. And then my shoe rack, definitely need to get a new shoe rack. I have so many shoes, so I'm having to pile everything on. But I did put the heavier shoes all the way in the bottom, which are all of my boots. And then I just squished all of my sandals in the corner. Then I have my high heels, which I need to clean off those high heels. I tried cleaning it off and it's like, red mud that's on there and it's really hard to get off so i'm gonna have to clean those but those are my heels and then these are like slip-on shoes and then up here are all of my sneakers so that is how the shoe rack looks so this is the complete look of my closet like i said definitely doesn't look perfect but at least the shoes are organized clothes are organized and i just get rid of a few things so that is right, how guys, everything So works. that is going to end my closet and drawer organization declutter video. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to name this, but I'm finally done. Like I said, it doesn't look perfect until my husband fixes that wall and we get rid of that vanity and maybe get a new vanity to put up there or maybe um, build in some type of shelving unit back there. But until then, it's going to look a hot mess. I just worked with what I have. Obviously, I can't go out and buy things that I want to organize my closet also. I'm out of all of my velvet hangers, so I did have to use a lot of plastic hangers. So something else that I need to go grab, but it's not important, so I'm not gonna go to the store just to get that. Maybe I can order it, but yeah, I need to get more velvet hangers, more cubicles to organize things, a new shoe rack, but for now, this will do. So I hope you guys found some motivation from today's video. If you did, please remember to give my video a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Let me know what you guys would like to see as far as videos. I know my channel is kind of all over the place. One day I have a vlog for you guys. One day I have a cleaning video. One day I have a workout video. So like I said, it's all over the place. But just let me know in the comments what videos you guys enjoy the most. And then I'll try to film those for you guys. I'm thinking about doing a morning routine soon. I have another cleaning video that I'll be filming. And then probably another workout video. So 
I do have a few things planned, but I would like to film things that you guys enjoy. So let me know in the comments what is your favorite type of video that I film, whether that is a vlog, fitness, um, morning routine, stuff like that. Just let me know and I'll film that for you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.